Why don't you have breakfast in bed? Because I'm not married. Yes, but now that... Now that both of the others are, what difference would it make? You know what I mean. I prefer to be up and about. Tennessee is going to ratify the 19th Amendment. Meaning? All American women will have the vote. Which is more than they do here. Well, they almost do. I don't have the vote. I'm not over 30 and I'm not a householder. It's ridiculous. You should write to the Times. Maybe I will. Ask your mother if she needs any help with tonight's dinner. There's nothing so toffee-nosed as a prince of the church, so make sure you put him next to your grandmother. She'll know how to handle him. No. Oh. Thank you, my dear. That's very kind. How much do I owe you? A guinea. A guinea? For a bottle of scent? Did he have a mask and a gun? <laughs> how are you? All right, I suppose. Yes, I worry about you. Yeah, that sort of thing is so horrid. Being jilted at the altar, yes, it is horrid. Multiplied by about 10,000 million. Oh. You must keep busy. What with? There's nothing to do at the house, except when we entertain. Well, there must be something you can put your mind to. Like what? Gardening? Well, no, you can't be as desperate as that. <laughs> then what? Edith, dear. You're a woman with a brain and reasonable ability. Stop whining and find something to do. What do you mean, you wrote to a newspaper? No lady writes to a newspaper. What about Lady Sarah Wilson? She's the daughter of a duke and she worked as a war judge. Well, she's a Churchill. The Churchills are different. Have we no Churchill blood? I think Granny's right. Can somebody write that down? It's good to have strong views, but notoriety is never helpful. Well, I've sent it now. It won't be published. Thank you for the vote of confidence, Papa. This is our new footman, Mama. What should we call you? Jimmy. James, Your Ladyship. <clears throat> this is James. Welcome to Downton, James. Thank you, my lord. <clears throat> well done, Carson. That must have cheered up the maids. He looks like a footman in a musical review. Poor Alfred. We mustn't allow him to be completely overshadowed. Quite right, my lady. Hard work and diligence weigh more than beauty in the real world. If only that were true. God in heaven! Earl's daughter speaks out for women's rights. What? In a letter to this newspaper today, Lady Edith Crawley, daughter of the Earl of Grantham, condemns the limitations of the Women's Suffrage Bill and denounces the government's aims to return women to their pre-war existence. You said they wouldn't print it. Well done. That's most impressive. Don't say you support her. Of course I support her. And so do you, really, when you've had a chance to think about it. So I should hope, anyway. No. Yeah. What do you think, Carson? I would rather not say, my lord. The editor of the sketch wants me to write for him. He saw my letter to the Times and wants to give me a regular column. How regular? What about? Once a week. And I can write about whatever I like. It would be the problems faced by a modern woman rather than the fall of the Ottoman Empire, but even so. But will you write under your own name? I hadn't thought. You won't have an option. That's what he's buying, that's what he wants. Your name and your title. I don't know. I thought Edith's letter to the Times was very interesting. Don't bother, Matthew. I'm always a failure in this family. Why would I persuade your father otherwise when I agree with him? How can you say that when you keep telling me to find something to do? I meant run a local charity or paint watercolours or something. Well, I'm going to London to see the editor tomorrow. And if I like him, then I'm going to say yes. I don't want to fall out with Papa, but I don't want to be invisible either. I've had enough of it. Very well, I'm coming up tonight. I'll see what I can do. But I want a favour in return. Something nice? The editor's written back, repeating his offer. He asks if I'm ever in London. Why not? You could see Rosamond and buy some new clothes. He only wants to persuade you to write for his horrible paper.
Still, I think I will go. It seems rude not to, in a way. And I haven't been to London for ages. Excuse me. Please don't encourage her. But I think it's a good idea. I gather you've trapped poor old Jarvis into a meeting. It won't take long, but he is the agent, and there are things we must get started on, if you agree. Well, I'm glad you still think my agreement has a part to play. Are you sure you wouldn't rather just cotton run like me? This really has been so interesting. Well, I hope this means that you're persuadable, Lady Edith. I'll think about it, I promise. I just felt I had to meet you and see what it would be like. I assume your father disapproves. Well, it's the business of parents to worry, isn't it? No, 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 all sorts of toffs are writing for, for magazines nowadays. Some of them even uh, advertise face creams and cigarettes and the rest of it. I'm afraid Papa would not find that reassuring. <laughs> In fact, if he were here, he'd probably just shout, run. Will you please make up your own mind without his advice? I'll have to think about that, too. You going back to Yorkshire tonight? No, I'm staying with my aunt. I've got to look into the offices of the lady while I'm here. Not to write to them, I trust. Oh, no. It's just something I promised to do for my grandmother. Lady, that's uh, Cotton Garden. Here's an idea. Let's, uh, let's have lunch tomorrow at Rules. If you accept the job, we'll celebrate. If it's a no, I'll drown my sorrows. How's that? <laughs> I'm easily Mr. Gregson. I was afraid you'd stood me up. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It took much longer than I thought. What was it about? Oh, just family stuff. An errand for my grandmother. You were uh, very family-minded. Well, you know, when you live at home with your parents, you're still in the middle of all of it. Yes, I saw a picture in the paper of your elder sister's wedding. She looked very glamorous. People say so. Am I allowed to say I'm rather pleased you're not married? Here you are, madam. I'm a little less pleased. Oh, dear, it sounds like you're hiding a romantic secret. Not too romantic. A little while ago, I was jilted at the altar, which wasn't much fun. Oh, dear, I am sorry. Oh, please don't be. It's a relief to be reminded I'm not an object of pity to the entire world. Well, I've clearly put my foot in it, and now you'll turn the job down. <laughs> Please don't. I won't. Not if you don't want me to. Ah. How did you get on in London? Well, as a matter of fact, I've got an announcement to make. Now's as good a time as any. Listen, everyone. You have a journalist in the family. Oh. Since we have a country solicitor and a car mechanic, it'll turn you a matter of time. How was the editor in the end? Oh, nice. Very nice. <laughs>